So I obviously wasn't done with RBS. Of course I wasn't. I felt like what they'd done was an attack on fun and on silliness. I felt like um, what it, uh, there were people that work in that building that want to be daft and silly at points in their lives, and they have to extinguish that desire in the name of security and corporate rules. And I felt that was sad. So I got the email address of the man that runs the building from Peter, and I set up a rhubarb bikini email account, and I sent him an email. It read, to the manager. I am Ruba Bikini. <laughs> and I gather you are looking for me. You have been led to believe that I am the comedian Joe Lysett. But this is not accurate. For I am at once all things and no thing. <laughs> I am a whisper in a dream. I am a homeless man in search of a manual for a Fiat Punto. <laughs> I am Tom Daly's missing finger. <laughs> I am a light bulb in my kitchen. I am a glory hole in a glass door. <laughs> I am a seller of adult DVDs. <laughs> I am a master painter. I am an online troll. <laughs> and I am children's TV entertainer Paul Chuckle. Right. <laughs> For one of these, he sent dozens. <laughs> I am all the colours in the rainbow, I am near and I am far. I'm everyone you'll ever know, I am each pound in the jar. You can never stop me, for I will always be. Your staff will never show you, so you will never see. But in each of them is nonsense. I know this to be true. So all your staff are rhubarb and rhubarb bikini is you. <laughs> I also put PSM also Alexa. I'm rhubarb bikini and you should suck a dog's cock. Yes, you guys. Um, do you know what? I'd like to slag off the black country before I go. <laughs> Anyone in from the black country? <laughs> Which part? Where are you, where are you from? <laughs> Wolverhampton, all right. <laughs> Yeah, that's how they talk. If you don't know the black country, they talk like they talk like that. I got now neck and now future. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Have you travelled from Wolverhampton? No, I live in London now. I live in London now. <laughs> I love it. It's, I really find it pleasing to hear the accent. Have you been to the um, IKEA in Wensbury? I have. You have. <laughs> right. Why? It's stressful when you get to the checkout, I agree, yeah. Well, it's stressful in that one because it's full of people from the black country and they're all mad at <laughs> I, right, I, the, um, I was in the kitchen area when I went round and there was a family walking round and the dad of the family said this very loudly because I wasn't that nearby and I heard it very clearly. He went, look at that chopping board. I couldn't chop me cock on that. <laughs> Is that a requirement of a chopping board that I've missed? <laughs> Bless you, well, thanks for coming along. I do, and this is the thing, I slag off the black country loads, it's because I love it, and it's, I've got loads of friends there, I spend a lot of time there. I went on a speed awareness course in the black country. Have people been on speed awareness courses? <laughs> yeah, some other bad boys. Um, I thought it was really effective, but my favourite thing about it is this woman at the back who just did not give a shit. She's like, my new spirit animal, she's just there like, oh, Rog. And the guy came out, and he was proper patronising. He was like, guys, guys, just shout out reasons. Why do we speed? Why do we speed? Why do we speed? And she went, because I'm in a rush. <laughs> Good, good, you're in a rush, you're in a rush. Great, great. Why do we rush? Why do we rush? Why do we rush? Because I need a piece. <laughs> Realised very quickly he did not want to be talking to her. He was trying to get anyone else to chip in. At one point he forced this quite meek guy at the front to chip in. It was really sweet. He said, you've got two options. Have you got two options? You can go by the speed limit or you can go to jail. Do you want to go to jail? He hadn't been listening, he just went, yes. Any reasons why it's justifiable to speed, why we might be okay to speed? She went, well, if there's an emergency, if you've got to take someone to hospital? He went, no, that's not a reason, is it? It's not a reason. You've still got to be safe, haven't you? Still got to be safe. If you hit someone on the way to hospital, that's two people going to hospital, isn't it? She went, that's lucky, I'm going that way, give them a lift. 